So today's video lesson is on Common Core method of multiplication, how to teach to kids so your frustration doesn't show up. I know that uh, first time when I saw it, I was pretty frustrated, but what's important is that our kids soak up everything we're not saying as well as what we're saying. So hopefully watching this video, you can see why Common Core is doing what they're trying to do and explain to your kids so that they're not frustrated. I believe at the end of the day, it's our job, our parents' job to protect our kids' confidence. Happy parenting wherever you are. Core is trying to get kids do the old math in the new way. It started out with a good intention. So here I'm going to try to give you the old way first. So here's 35 times uh, 12, uh, 10 carry, this is 7, 5, and 3. We're going to add. Uh, for us who learn this way, it's pretty easy to see ans answer is 420. Now the common core, the reason they're doing what they're doing is I think they're trying to simplify for kids so that multiplication gets a little bit easier instead of the setup where we learn. But the problem is when parents learn the older way and not knowing why Common Core is doing what Common Core is doing, it gets really difficult. So what I draw over here is that what Common Core is trying to do. For the right part, you have 30 times 10. So it's basically a simple distribution. And instead of saying the distribution, they uh, told kids it's the square method, uh, what I have here. So I wrote it out. In the graphic representation here, I'm drawing the square. So you have 30 plus 5. Uh, on this side, you literally have 35. And then on this side, you have 10 plus 2. So graphically they're trying to represent the distribution of what we have up there this is the blue part and the other part is the red part so here is your 300 that's this chunk over here and then here is the 60 the blue part you have 50 over here and you have 10 over here now if you add everything together you will end up with the same thing now do i like the method not really i think this is way too complicated than it's needed but that's what the kids are learning at school so for parents to work with the kids if you can have this uh, chunk of knowing what common core is trying to do i would not fight against the common core so much as in protect the kids' uh, confidence. So if the kids really have to do this for homework, go for it. And see if you can guide the kids to see if they're willing to learn this, maybe, hopefully. All right, until next time, hope this helps.